Good morning, my name is David Murray and I'm a political executive here at De Havilland. There have of course been a raft of responses to Tuesday's announcement about the easing of lockdown measures, but prominent amongst them is an open letter published in the British Medical Journal from the various Royal Colleges calling for an urgent review into how prepared the UK is for a potential second wave or second peak of the coronavirus. Tied to this is the announcement that there'll be no longer any more daily coronavirus press conferences, those conferences which had become such a staple in our day-to-day -day activities. Instead, um, there will only be such a conference when uh, a significant announcement is uh, made regarding coronavirus. MHCLG have announced that they will be providing interim housing for uh, rough sleepers taking in during the pandemic. Uh, and this will be accompanied by £105 million of funding. Today, Wednesday the 24th of June, also sees Labour's second Opposition Day debate, which will be used to propose a weekly routine uh, testing programme for coronavirus for all NHS and social care workers.